Hey beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive tarot oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today's not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about what will people think of you as a couple. This is a future spouse version or future partner version. And yeah, as always, my dear, I have three pals that you can choose from. And this is pal one with the nine of pentacles. This is pal two with the six of wands. And this is pal three with the nine of cups. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video. Or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course also in the comment section. And if you're interested or curious when it comes to a personal reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always, you can feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see what will people think of you as a couple. Now let's start straight away, my dear. Let's see. What will people think of you, my dear pal one, as a couple with your future spouse? Let's look into the energies. Let's see. Let's see. What will people think of you and your future spouse as a couple? Let me give it one more shuffle. What will people think of you and your future spouse as a couple? All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oops. Okay, the first card we have is the wheel card. Oh, please give me a moment. A card fell. Oh, look at that. <laughs> My dear, we got the lovers. What will people think of you as a couple? The Daughter of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands. Let's continue for my dear Pile One. What will people think of you as a couple? All right, the Three of Cups. Ooh, the Ace of Cups with the Lover's card. That's beautiful. Okay, interesting. Page of Swords with the Queen of Swords and one more card. Hmm, let me see. The cards are still like glued together. Okay. And we have the Page of Pentacles. All right. So at the back of the deck, we have the Strength card. Now, I would like to start straight away with the Strength... I um, can't talk. <laughs> with the Strength card because, you know, whenever I get this card, like the Strength card in, in a reading, which is all about this, which is all about how other people perceive like you know a couple and the strength card comes through this is for me always like power couple power couple energy and this is very interesting to me because you know when it comes to seeing people as a power couple there are a lot of different criterias that are characteristics that people look into when they consider calling a couple you know that and what i can see is I do feel like a lot of people are going to see that, okay, 
in you guys and let me start from the beginning as for why. First of all, I would like to say that I'm seeing you guys are going to be incredibly loyal to each other. And this is something people will definitely big time, yeah, pick up on, okay? And one way people will see that is because I feel like in some scenarios, you and your future spouse, you will definitely have each other's back, you know? You may not be at the same place. Every and each one of you guys may be attending, you know, a certain, like, place and the other is not there. And somehow, maybe someone says something and it really is going to rub you the wrong way and you're really going to just go in and, yeah. You know, just like a lion, which is going in when they feel like they need to protect their, like, their family, their babies, you know? It's the same thing and you're just going to be on like this and your future spouse like take it out resonates vice versa, okay? And people are going to really see that, wow, you are so serious about each other and it's not only that, like you're incredibly loyal, incredibly loyal and I feel like this is just a small example, okay? There are going to be a lot of different like scenarios in which people are gonna pick up on this loyalty, this faithful, oops, excuse me, I think I turned the camera a little bit. <laughs> so as I was saying, I feel like a lot of people are gonna get different glimpses when it comes to this, okay? But it's the same. People are gonna see how committed you are to each other and it's something I feel like a lot of people also admire because this is something a lot of people want. You know, I feel like maybe for you guys especially, this aspect of loyalty is very, very big. Because let's just say maybe some of you guys have had or have experienced some betrayal or dishonesty. And therefore, this could be one of the most, okay? One of the absolute most important aspects for you in a relationship. To know that your partner is like having the same sense of loyalty as you have. And you will see this in this person. This will definitely be a big reason why you choose to be with them. But <laughs> moving back, no, like moving on from that, okay? <laughs> there are more aspects to this. So another thing I'm seeing is with the wheel card. You know, the wheel card sometimes is... <sighs> for me, it has also something to do with like waiting, okay? For the right time to come. You know, very often this card also signifies, as an example, divine timing. And divine timing is like all about this time in which it is right, okay? It is the right time. And I really feel like it could either be you or your spouse or, of course, both of you guys. You could have been single for quite some time. And, of course, other people are going to be aware of that. And I feel like when people look at you guys and... You know, they consider how long you've been single. They're going to understand why. It's kind of like they're going to understand, wow, this was the person that, yeah, this person was waiting for, you know. As an example, if, let's say, a friend of you, they're going to look at you as a couple and think, wow, yeah, it was definitely worth it to stay single because this is who you are compatible with this is who you are meant to be with or at least this may be something that you say to them okay and I really feel like people are going to pick up on it it's kind of like the patience was worth it you know and yeah it's kind of like all the like different puzzle pieces coming together I feel like a friend of you may even tell you now you see why it never worked out with others because this is the kind of person or this is the person, better to say, it was supposed to work out with, you know? That's really something. I don't know why, like, someone's friend is coming through like this, but yeah, there is a reason for it, right? So people are gonna acknowledge the fact that it was the right thing to stay single or not settle for anything less than you deserve because you deserve this kind of love and speaking of love okay with the lovers and the ace of cups it's definitely gonna be on display 
people are gonna see how much you guys love each other i really feel you guys are not gonna be shy when it comes to that you know your future spouse is definitely gonna openly express how they feel you know they may even be like certain um what how, what do you say in english again like when someone shows affection you know there i think there is a certain word for it like when someone shows affection in public now i forgot the word <laughs> but you know understand what i mean right i really feel like they are not gonna be shy you know they may openly in front of a lot of people just randomly tell you how much they love you kissing um like touching i mean not in an appropriate way right so of course you know the way it suits the occasion and yeah they're gonna show others they're gonna just yeah it's you know you see this ace of cups look at this someone is like almost like offering this to someone right and for me when i see the ace of cups and there is some kind of illustration here with a cup and water like overflowing for me, this is always, you know, a symbol of, yeah, overflowing love. And I really feel like this is also the same thing with you guys. You're gonna shower each other with so much love. And I feel like those people who, who love you, they're gonna be so, so happy that you have this. And talking of happy, you know, people are really going to see you as that. They're going to see you as a couple who is showing the world how joyful they are, how happy they are. I mean, of course, there is always the good and bad, right? Life is never, like, perfect. I mean, perfect in the sense that people think if everything is always good, life is perfect. But, I mean, this is a world of duality, so... The negative or the tough times are just as much a part as like of life, like the good times. And every couple will have its ups and downs. But I really feel like people see how good you are for each other. And, you know, I see two people just smiling from the heart. I hear that someone may tell you, wow, this person makes you happy. That's something I heard. Also with the three of cups, I love this. It almost looks like people are just, you know, carefree, dancing. It's just a wonderful illustration. And I really feel like this is in a way also showing you guys that when you are with each other, you always have a good time. Like people see that. People see that you're a couple who can enjoy themselves whether it's through you you know taking a, like certain trips and people seeing that and seeing how much good you give to each other or whether this is just you guys staying at home doing something fancy it's really all about you guys being together you know when you are together the love you have for each other is undeniable and I do feel like, my dear Pile One, by the way, that you are people who are pretty protective of this connection. And this is something people will also see. They will see that you are definitely not playing around when it comes to your relationship. And that you won't give anyone the space or the opportunity to bring turmoil into this, okay? So you're very protected protective i'm sorry you're very protective of this connection it's almost like the lion you know i mean just look how at how gentle the lion looks like we even have a small chicken here now the lion is just all zen and like very very calm looking but we know that a lion can snap any minute right and when a lion like <laughs> is on, run. You better run because they're not playing around. And I really feel like these are like you and your future spouse. You are so gentle and so kind with everyone and so welcoming. But don't cross our limits because if you do, then yeah, you will see what comes out. The lion is 
awakened, right? And yeah, this is something I really feel. Another thing, I feel like you and your future spouse are going to take this relationship slow. However, people are going to see how committed you are to each other from the beginning. And this is definitely something that people will acknowledge. I mean, people will take you serious. So they will not say, this is just a face, you know, they're just like talking, but they wouldn't actually, as an example, get engaged in the future or whatever. No, people will see how serious you are and they also acknowledge how serious you are about your future plans. As an example, your parents, you know, if you share it with them, it is visible, yeah, let me see. Actually, I feel like you guys may get serious with each other pretty, like, let me see. Yeah, pretty straightforward, you know. As an example, all of a sudden, you may introduce your partner to your parents as your fiancé, you know, like... You really are gonna just take it to the next level immediately. You are in the beginning, you know, taking your time. But once you have settled everything and you are sure about what you're doing, you will not wait. So it's growing slow and steady. But once it's grown, you're going in. There is so much love. Okay, people, I have to say it one more time. When people see you as a couple, they see the love you have for each other. This is not something you can play. This is not something you can pretend. Because people can feel it. You know, they see how you look at each other. They see how you talk with each other. How much you are worried about the other person. Like, these are emotions which are coming from the heart space. And even if someone is trying to fake them, you know, you, you will sense it. You will sense it when it doesn't come from a genuine place. You could actually as well be the kind of couple who hosts a lot of gatherings. Because I do feel like you are the kind of couple who people always want to have around because you're so fun. You're very com like compatible and people enjoy your guys' company for sure but I do feel like you may yourselves be people who host a lot you know at your place or you know at certain like restaurants there's just people have a lot of fun when they are with you you spread positivity not only for yourself but as well for others and this is a great reason why people love to be surrounded by you guys, this energy. Okay, what I'm seeing here is also that someone's mother will be also very, very protective of this connection. Okay, I know this is a very random message, but that's just what I'm seeing here. Yeah, you guys may also travel a lot with each other. You are the kind of adventurous mm, partner, like, as well, okay? Like, people will see you as this couple who's very adventurous, going to different places, doing a lot of different activities, always something exciting to talk about. Let me get you guys some oracle cards as well. Let's get, let get, oh, I can't talk. <laughs> Let's get some more information. What's happening? Oh my goodness. So for my dear pile one, what do people think of you as a couple? You and your future spouse, your future partner. What will people think of you guys as a couple? Ooh. Okay, so we have go wild see the bigger picture i'm gonna get you guys four cards so let's get you some more 
how will people see you as a couple okay look at that and we have keep your heart open and this card is take a breather so let me continue there as i already said you are definitely a couple that people feel very comfortable around very warm very welcoming very loving with keep your heart open, this is for me really the confirmation that people are going to acknowledge your guys' heart space for each other. So much love and compassion coming from you guys for each other. And I am hearing over and over again, it's undeniable. I know I've said this, but yeah, there is just some reason for me to emphasize that, you know. And also with Go Wild, by the way, the line coming through again here, this is for me the energy I was just talking about, this adventurous energy, you know, you guys going out, exploring, being adventurous, just experiencing life, literally going wild, right? Um, but in a very comfortable way, you know, as an example, if some of you guys are not the kind of people who like to go out like partying and so on then it's gonna be in a way in which you feel comfortable all right so yeah that's something i'm seeing here as well i feel like your guys's energy has also something very soothing and people therefore once again love to be around you very nurturing yeah is there anything else? This is very random, but I feel like you guys are going to always share like pictures of your adventures or your different trips. And yeah, people are really going to admire you because you have someone who you can do these things with. And it's, it's a blessing, you know, it's a gift. I think a lot of people are going to, yeah, love seeing you like this. Of course, you know, you may also have some haters, but who cares about the haters, right? <laughs> I really feel like there are going to be so many people who are going to be happy for you guys. Yeah. That's actually all I'm getting for you, my dear pile one. So, yeah, feel free, my dear, to let me know how you feel about this reading and... As always, my dear, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. If you're interested or curious when it comes to a personal reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, you can feel free, of course, to email me. Lastly, my dear, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I also invite you there. You will find my Instagram link in the description box. My dear pile one, I am sending you much love and much, much, much positive energy. And I hope you're having a beautiful day or, of course, a beautiful evening, depending on where you are right now. But yeah, my dear pile one, take care, my love. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's see what will people think of you as a couple. I would say let's start straight away. So let's see for my dear pile two, what will people think of you as a couple? For my dear pile two, what will people think of you guys as a couple? All right. Okay. The first card is the Hanged Man. We have the Temperance card. Oops. Ooh, the High Priestess. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Four of 
Four of Cups. Three of Cups and one last card, please. Ooh, and the Sun card. All right. So, my dear pile two, what will people think of you as a couple? So, first of all, what I would like to say is I really feel like mm, it could be the case that you and your future spouse have some kind of differences. These differences could be regarding your ethnicity, your background, your culture, religion, like a lot of different things. Overall, there's just some noticeable different and what I'm seeing here regarding this difference is that people are going to acknowledge how beautiful it can be when two different things come together because as an example, if the same things come together, like people know what to expect, right? I mean, it's the same energy. But when two different energies emerge, you know, something totally new can can be created out of it. And it's the same thing with you guys. This is a very beautiful energy. You know, what I also find very interesting is that this is almost like the moon card for me with the moon here and there's the sun, like the sun and the moon. Yeah. Yeah, very beautiful. And, you know, people are going to see those differences and I feel like somehow you guys are going to share it with others and people are going to be very impressed by it. So as an example, maybe one day you're going to, uh, you know, host a gathering like for food and everything and you're going to make your own like meals and one of you guys is going to make their traditional meal from their home country and the other is going to make the traditional meals from their other home country and when people come and see that they see just the like variety of things diversity and how beautiful it can be to bring two different worlds together it could be the case that in the beginning some people are going to think that this is some kind of um, challenge but you and your future spouse are going to not think like that you're going to see it as you know, a poss like a possibility or opportunity for growth and expansion. And when people are going to see you in action, they're going to be proven wrong. At least for those of you guys who thought that it could be some kind of problem, okay? They're going to see how beautiful the moon and the sun can work with each other and that both of them have their beauty, you know, when it's daylight, when it's like daytime, the sun can show its beauty and its warmth and when it's dark outside the moon comes through and it's just this mysterious beautiful thing up in the sky right and yeah that's something i'm seeing first of all here now with the temperance card being here the temperance card for me is also a card of balance so i feel like you and your future spouse are coming through with a very balanced energy so somehow you guys may give an example for that. Let's just say the way you guys have divided the co like chores or course, the course, right? Like the, um, you know, the duties at home and so on. Like it's very balanced. It's not like one of you guys has to, to do more than the other. It's always very well balanced. But it's not only that, you know, it's also your energy, you guys are coming off as very balanced people. And I really feel like a great reason for that is, yeah, it's the fact that you are a little bit different. So you can really complement each other. All right. That's something I also feel here. Now, this is a very interesting message for me because... What I'm seeing here is that some people are acknowledged that you guys are soulmates or you guys have a spiritual connection. Now, I don't know whether you guys are going to talk with this about others and make people aware of that or maybe it's just your energy, you know. People are going to see that. People are going to notice that. That what you guys have is just something I heard out of this world. Very interesting. 
I feel like just generally speaking, you guys are definitely going to be the kind of couple which is a great role model for what love can be. You know that love is not only about looking cute as a couple in pictures or on Instagram or whatever, but it is really about the love we carry inside of ourselves and we share with each other and we share with others as well. And people are going to see that. They're going to see that you guys are not the kind of people to pretend something because you definitely don't have any time for that, okay? You are here showing your raw feelings for each other and it is such an inspiration. That's just something I heard. Your love is going to be an inspiration for others. That's very, very interesting. Okay, another thing I just heard was you're going to have a very healing energy on other people as well. So that's definitely interesting here. Mm. I don't know if there's something you guys are going to do which is going to have this healing impact on others. But this is just something I'm feeling here. Healing, healing, healing. You know, this is the kind of couple who's going to make other people's lives so much more fulfilled. But not only that, I also see that you guys are a very generous couple as well. So it's not about only you guys being happy and, you know, enjoying your abundance, but you're also going to share it with other people and i'm hearing that a lot of people are gonna see you guys truly as abundant because you don't only enjoy it yourself but you are also so generous to bring a lot of joy into other people's life as well now with the sun card being here very very simply said the sun card is giving me one message it's giving me the message of they're gonna see you as such a happy couple people who are spreading positive energy people who are always bringing out the best in each other people who have so much love to share and to give with others it's just a very positive yeah energy to be around and to have and it's not like your relationship you know just came out of the blue i mean obviously you guys i feel like have also worked a lot on it you know you are on this level but you have worked through your own shadows first of all individually but then also together maybe in the beginning of your guys's relationship one of you guys or both of you guys got a little bit triggered okay but this also brought so much potential for healing and you guys have worked together. You're definitely the kind of couple who can not only celebrate and be happy, but you also hold your hands like tight when things get ugly and you work through it. You know, whatever challenge comes your way. People see that you push together. It's not like one of you guys will leave and the other has to deal with everything by their own. No, you are so supportive of each other. That's something I'm also seeing here. When it comes to like tough times. Another thing I'm seeing here is that people are going to see that you guys only have eyes for each other. So, no temptation will be able to come between you guys. Because with you guys, it's not only about, you know, the physical attraction that you have, but it's really like the inside that's holding you together. And once again, this spiritual energy, the spiritual union energy that I'm receiving here, yeah, it's also very big in here. People are also going to see that you guys are very patient with each other. You don't push the other person. You're very 
understanding, which is also something very wonderful, actually. Mm. Let me see. Okay, this is very interesting. And it came through in connection to this like spiritual connection that I saw for you guys. I I really feel like my dear pal too. It's almost like you guys can communicate even without words. Like as an example, you guys may be in some kind of a scenario and you just look at each other and you will understand the other's intention or you will understand what the other person thinks or feels and that's something very unique about you guys, okay? That's something I'm seeing here as well. People are also going to see you guys as a very independent couple. A couple that builds together, that creates. You guys could have literally started something from like zero and you're going to create something so brilliant, not only for each other, but once again, it's also about sharing it with others such as your parents or your loved ones, okay? And it's all you. It is your making. This independent energy is who you guys are and people are going to recognize it. People are going to recognize how much you guys can build with each other. I, mean, I heard there is no limits to your, ooh, to your creation abilities. That's interesting. What are you guys going to create with each other? I mean, this could be literally children for those of you guys who want to have children. But I feel like it's more than that. This could also be a business. This could be you guys building a home with each other. But some kind of project perhaps even. I heard people are going to be very impressed by what you guys have to offer. Let me get you guys some oracle cards. I would like to get more information about that. So let's see from my dear pile two, what will people think of you guys as a couple? Mm -hmm. The first card we have is release your blocks. The second card we have is lighten up. Okay, one card fell. <laughs> Look at that. We have release your blocks and here we have release control. Release and release here. <laughs> and, okay, one card turned over. It says practice gratitude. All right, so my dear pile two, what will people think of you as a couple? First of all, there is one element or one thing coming through big time and that's trust. There is a lot of trust in this connection. Big, big time, okay? And whenever there is trust, there is no need for like control. Because very often when people feel like they need to control something like excessively, it may be because they don't really trust, okay? And they think because of that, they need to make sure, you know, they can control the situation. But when we have trust, we release this. And it's kind of like we're holding something with a firm grip, but then we just put it down because, yeah, we trust that it won't go. And what I'm seeing here for you guys, and it comes to your guys' relationship somehow people are definitely get this impression they're gonna understand how much you guys see the other person and how much you trust the other person and i really feel like this may literally trigger some people okay when it comes to their own fears as an example there could be a friend who who sees that who sees how much you guys 
trust each other and they may really question why they don't trust or why they have to control you know and they may come to the conclusion that there is some kind of lack that they're feeling and I really feel like you guys are gonna trigger some people like some relationships but in a actually in a good way because you're gonna make people aware of some unhealed wounds or unhealed issues that need to be yeah looked after or link need to be healed you know in order for people to have a healthier relationship and people who are self-aware they are going to definitely appreciate that it could even be the case for you my dear pile too that people are going to reach out to you guys and ask for your help like literally it could be the case that some of your friends who have some relationship problems are going to approach you guys and ask you about like advice okay and why is that so because people see the great relationship you have you know if you need advice in relationships you don't go to a person who has a bad one right you go to a person who's having a successful relationship that's something natural we want to learn from those who are where we may want to be and this is why people will definitely approach you guys now with the card lighten up being here and the sun card when i saw the sun card coming through there was actually one word that i heard but i didn't mention and it was sunshine and now we have a lighten up here so i really feel like you guys are kind of being the sunshine couple you know whenever you attend a certain place a event people are just are gonna know yeah great energy is coming and also with practice gratitude being here this is big okay this is actually one of the biggest superpowers there is gratitude and i feel like this is not only for you guys but it's also of course other people because we're talking here about how other people will see you as a couple first of all i feel like people are gonna see how grateful you guys are for having each other but it's not only that it's also people being very grateful for you guys okay once again i feel like you guys are definitely genuine and very generous and people are very thankful that you guys share but not only like physical things also just your love you know showing other people what a connection can be being a friend of you guys getting advice from you people are gonna be grateful for you this is really something i'm seeing here let me see if there is anything more no that's all yeah so my dear pal too this is all i have for you for today as always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And as always, if you're interested or curious and you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, of course, you can feel free to email me, my dear. Lastly, my dear, if you would like to also connect with me on Instagram, I also invite you there. You will find my Instagram link in the description box. My dear pile two, I am sending you much love and much, much positive energy. And I hope you're having a beautiful day or of course a beautiful evening depending on where you are right now. But yeah, my dear pile two, take care my love. Hey pal three, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what will people think of you and your future spouse as a couple now let's start straight away my dear oops <laughs> so let's see what will people think of you and your future spouse as a couple from my dear pile three what will people think of you guys let's see what will people think of you guys as a couple Let's give it one more shuffle. I have such a hard time with shuffling these or tarot cards. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so let's see from my dear pile three. 
What will people think of you guys as a couple? Okay. Okay, the first card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. Let's get it. Ooh, wow. The Star card. Okay, we have the Devil. Let's see what this is all about. The King of Swords. The Three of Cups came out like literally in every single reading. <laughs> We have the Knight of Cups. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. The Devil and the Five of Swords. Mm. Let's give it one more card. Okay, and we have the Emperor in combination with the King of Swords. At the back of the deck, my dear, we have the Knight of Swords. All right, everything looks all so visible. So let's start. My dear pile three, what will people think of you guys as a couple? So I would like to start with the first thing um, that I heard was coming through. And it's that you guys are going to have a very healing influence on each other and it is very important when we talk about how other people see you so let me explain first of all i feel like mm, this could either be you or this could be your future spouse the energies are not showing me which one of you guys it is it could even be both of you guys to be honest uh, however it's going to apply i am seeing that you guys have a very positive impact on the other and not only that, I feel like it could be that one of you guys uh, is has gone through some kind of a turmoil, okay? And the other person is really helping them through that. And this is what people see. People see that you guys are... Wow. Like... No matter what one of you guys is going through, the other will be there like a backbone. You know, the other will be there helping them through it. And not only that, you know, there is this healing aspect in here. You don't just help them, but you really help them um, heal, you know, and go beyond it. So as an example, with the devil card being here... Let's just say this is some kind of a um, addiction, right? So what is happening here is that the other person helps the person who has yeah, problems with that through it, you know, and helps them to, yeah, come out of this, of this pattern, um, of the state. And people see that, you know, people see you guys have such a wonderful way to treat each other but not only that you influence the other person a lot and you can literally help the other person when it comes to very very difficult times and this is something people see and this is actually something people really really admire about you guys this is the kind of energy of someone like genuinely okay doing what it needs for the other person's well-being because sometimes people may tell someone else that yeah i'm i would do anything for you right but when things get ugly this person may <laughs> try to like run off you know and these were just like empty words but in this pile there are no such things as empty words in fact, I do feel like people are going to see, especially when it comes to tough times, my dear, because when we go through tough times, 
that's actually when people really show who they are and people are just gonna see there is nothing which can break you guys no challenge is too big for you and this is something people respect and admire about you guys big big time i also feel like you know people see how how sensitive you are to each other also and when i say that i mean it in a very positive way i know the word sensitivity has become a little bit negative as an example people say why are you so sensitive you know but being sensitive is actually a superpower because you are hyper aware you know you can pick certain things up whether it's the mood of others whether it's certain energies and this is actually a gla- um a great observation that can yeah that you can do a lot of things with but of course in this modern day world there are no yeah there is not a lot of place for feelings or such feelings and it's more so about just functioning with the mind so i really feel like people are gonna see that you guys are sensitive to each other what i mean with that is you guys can pick the other person's energy you know maybe you guys sit somewhere and you just feel the other person doesn't want to be here and you know you may say okay we need to go and so on it is a secret between you guys but at the same time it isn't because people can pick up on it so this is actually something very very beautiful something very cute i feel like my dear pile three that you and your future spouse it's almost like you are in your own little world you know, maybe you guys have created your own little bubble, you know, maybe you have created a home for each other and very often you enjoy to be in there. Maybe sometimes you also go in a little bit into the hermit mode because you just want to have each other's company and, you know, I feel like you're just very, very comfortable with just the two of you. I heard I have all I need. That's very interesting. And people see that, people see that you guys are a very independent couple and although you guys love people's company, especially when it comes to your loved ones, of course, you're also okay when, you know, you're some time alone by yourself because that's actually what I mean, you know, I feel like you guys don't only have a lover, but you're also great friends and this is something people will also see. People will see that you guys also have this foundation, which is your friendship. And it's also so, so important. As an example, I feel like you guys can go to your partner, you know, whenever there is something, you can just reach out to them. Sometimes people may have a partner, but they also have a best friend, you know, who they go to when they feel like there are certain things they can't talk about with their partner they go to their best friend and talk about it with you guys it's really all about your spouse like you will not feel there is certain topics that you won't be able to talk about okay no i really feel like you know you can always reach out to your partner and vice versa of course and yeah it's it's just the way it is And this is really the element of the best friend, which is also coming through here. And people will see. Okay, so whoever is more so in their masculine energy is definitely very dominating and very protective of the more so feminine energy. And this is something I'm seeing. This is something people will see. People will see that the more so masculine energy in this connection, okay? I'm saying energy. I'm not saying gender. So, as an example, it doesn't matter who you are or who you are into, whichever energy, okay, is dominating, whether it's the feminine or the masculine, so look how it applies to you in your situation, but the person who's more so in their masculine energy is definitely coming through and they don't understand any BS, like, or any jokes better to say when it comes to the feminine 
like if someone disrespects the feminine, if someone crosses the line with the feminine, you know, if just they feel like they need to go in, they will do so. And also with the king of swords being here, you know, very, very protective energy. For me, like when I see the king of swords, you know, he's holding the sword. And although you can see he's laying back, he, he looks very chill and everything, well, yes, he looks chill, but he has a sword in his hand, which is like super duper sharp. So if it goes like down to it, he will be able to use it. You know, he will be probably able to jump up and go in action mode <laughs> from this very like relaxing posture that he is in or position he's in, right? And this is for me really the masculine energy that's coming through in the same way. Mm. Please give me a moment. Okay, I feel like you guys are actually also going to be a very romantic couple. And people are going to see that. Okay, and I want to say that there are going to be some people which will be a little bit envious, okay? This is something I'm seeing because of you guys' relationship. Maybe because you are pretty transparent and... Mm -hmm. like people see you know all the good that you do for each other once again maybe you're very very romantic and people are gonna see it and people also want that too okay so this is something i'm also i'm picking up here mm. you know i really feel like you guys are the kind of couple which makes everything happen like if you guys set your mind into something, even if the circumstance looks like it won't be possible, you guys are going to make it possible. And once again, I feel like a leading position is going to have the masculine energy because he's more so like, um, like he's bringing the energy in, you know, the motivation in. This is something I'm seeing here. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of like romantic dates or romantic like, gatherings between you guys and love making. Okay, it's also coming through. Like, <laughs> okay, um, let me see. You know, with the star card being here, the star card is also signifying this wish fulfillment. I feel like my dear pile three, it could be the case that some of you guys have been waiting for this kind of person and those people who are going to know, you know, people who we may have talked about with in the past, they will see this person or this relationship as a wish fulfillment for you, a dream or a wish that came true. That is a very straightforward message I'm receiving here. Let me see. I would like to get some more information regarding that. Oops. Too many. Let me get this one here. Okay, this card is the full moon in Aquarius and says be real. Work through your feelings. Unleash your kindest self. One card, please. Ooh. Okay, this one turned over, and we have be proud of yourself. 
All right, my dear pal three. So first of all, with the card, be real here. This is really something I said, you know, with transparency. I really feel like what you see is what you get, you know? You guys are definitely a very honest couple and... I feel like this is people, something people also very admire about you guys, you know? Very often people try to hide a lot from like the public and mm, they have some insecurities. With you guys, this is actually where your strength lays. You are very, very comfortable with your relationship and with your partner. So as an example, maybe sometimes you talk publicly about certain issues you have or certain things you go through and people really admire that because it shows how how balanced your relationship is you know because you guys can come forward with it and you do it so you can maybe also bring awareness to other couples right and i really feel like this is something which brings a lot of yeah impressed energy okay so people are going to be very impressed by you guys when it comes to that also with work through your feelings. You know, this is the kind of, like with feelings being here as well. The first thing I heard was vulnerability. But this is actually something that a lot of people at times have problems with. Because when someone feels like they are vulnerable they could also be a target, right, of people who may want to take advantage of it. As an example, sometimes people may not want to open up to their feelings or, you know, talk with someone about their feelings because they feel like, yeah, they are vulnerable when they do so. But when it comes to relationships, like romantic relationships, we have to show ourselves like that because... This is honesty and we have to feel safe, safe showing what we feel and share it with our partner. And I could, I feel like, you know, I talked about maybe this certain issue that one of you guys could have, okay? And the other partner will help the person through it and people will see how wonderful and how healing you can be for each other. I can even have something to do with your feelings. So as an example, let's just say... Oh, um, I need an example. Um, mm, let's just say someone is struggling with some kind of emotion for some reason. Well, people are going to see that you guys are working through it so, so beautifully... And that the other person won't let the other down, you know? It's just this, yeah, like devotion, you know? Devotion was something I just heard. And I do feel like people see that you guys have or also will accomplish a lot. As I said, if there is some kind of path which seems a little bit impossible for you guys nothing is impossible and if it's impossible you will make it impossible possible <laughs> okay goodness <laughs> you will make it possible okay and with this card being here be proud of yourself this energy always comes through when you know i do a certain reading and someone has accomplished something for themselves or for others and yeah this proud energy is coming through so I really feel like people are going to see you guys as a couple which can be proud of themselves. Now, the energies are not showing me why. It could have something to do with the challenge you were, you know, go beyond. Or it could have something to do with the goals that you want to reach. But people will see you as a couple which, yeah, can be very proud of themselves. In fact, as an example, your loved ones will be proud of you. Let me see. This is actually such a gentle card. Unleash your kindest self. For me, you know, I actually 
got the impression of like your greatest self okay i know why like when i see this i see your greatest self or your greatest version kind of energy so i do feel like you guys also okay motivate and support the other towards becoming the greatest version now this could be as an example one of you guys motivating the other when it comes to their like dreams or passion when it comes to certain life decisions you know sometimes we may come across people who are trying to talk us out of things you guys will not talk each other out you guys will in fact motivate each other into it i also feel like you will be there for your partner if for some reason they have to leave their comfort zone you will be very nurturing for the other in that scenario okay reassuring them or giving them reassurance um let me see yeah the greatest version is coming through i really feel like this is the kind of couple which can help each other towards becoming the greatest version because you you make the other person grow you know and it's almost like you will not allow your partner to be stuck or in the stagnation energy you will always find a way to bring them back and i really feel like your future spouse my deep hell three they are gonna motivate you the right way so certain dreams or wishes or passions you have you will not just push them aside because you think they're like impossible for you and actually i feel like this person will yeah make you go on that path again and people are gonna see that you know this is why i felt like the kind of couple which can yeah reach a lot and once again there is this proud energy here right by the way some of you guys could have also been drawn to pal one if this is the case then of course feel free to watch it so my dear pal three this is actually all i have for you for today so please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading my dear and if there's something you would like to share definitely feel free to do so as always if you're interested or curious and you would like to get further information when it comes to a personal reading with me you can feel free to email me my dear lastly if you would like to also connect with me more on instagram i also invite you there you will find my instagram link in the description box my dear pal three i'm sending you much love and much much positive energy and i hope you're having a beautiful day or of course a beautiful evening depending on where you are right now but yeah my dear pal three take care my love